What's up, everybody? It's Igloo Land Critical, or more accurately, Canadian Critical, and it seems that the light of God is shining down upon us. Holy crap, let me, let me fix that. Now our lighting isn't as bad, so that's a plus. You, you can only get the best from the Canadian Moist Critical Show. But anyways, today is December 31st, 21, so it's New Year's Eve, baby. Now, before you even ask why my left eye is puffy, it's because I got into a bear fight at the North Pole, and I definitely do not have severe acne issues. Yes, I get acne. I'm 16 years old. It's not fun. I'm getting ringed out like a fucking moldy towel by this shit, and it's just... It sucks, but we'll cope. Now, another thing you'll immediately notice about me that's different is that my shirt actually has some color on it, which I think is a severe issue because this is my critical uniform, and I feel like it's blast blasphemic however you pronounce the word blasphemic i i did i don't know but um english is hard essentially i've i'm gonna figure out a solution to this real quick so i'll be right back fuck son of a bitch i don't want that big of a piece come on Ugh. okay here we go baby these are the strats More piece. At the bottom. How do I look? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'd say that's some pretty good patchwork. So yeah, it's New Year's Eve, and I'm pissed, baby. I'm puffing, I'm puffing, and I'm about to blow down the entire McDonald's fast food chain. Now, before I actually get into the masterpiece of an order I received from McDonald's after purchasing two Junior Chickens, by the way, Junior Chickens are fucking amazing. I'll just talk about with a few of my prior goofy experiences with this specific McDonald's. So, typically, I like to order some fries from McDonald's because they're just known for having amazing fries, just usually coming salted, just being perfect. A perfect mixture of salt and actual good-tasting fries to just be absolutely phenomenal in the mouth. An actual orgasm to the taste buds most of the time. But not with this McDonald's. No, they do things a bit differently, it seems. So, normally, whenever I order McDonald's fries, they, they come salted, they come perfect. But the problem with this one is they didn't exactly do things the way that things are normally done. They wanted to be a bit special. They wanted to stand out. They wanted to be the special snowflake of the bunch. And so they think that it's a fantastic idea, which, I mean, hey, I'm, I'm all for innovation. If you want to innovate, go right the fuck ahead. It's, it's cool. Pop off. Now, their innovative idea is to never salt their fries. I'm not even kidding. Anytime I order McDonald's fries, they just straight up don't salt them. Like, you'd think they'd send salt packets as well if they're not going to do that. Not even that. <laughs> it's straight up, if you don't have salt at home, your fries aren't salty. Like, your fries are going to be as about as salty as a Bible study group. No, just no sodium. And if they ever do put salt, it's like... A little sprinkle of it. Like, the tiniest little... And, and yeah, then your fries are salted, I guess. Once again, I'm all for innovation. If that's what they think works, it, that's fine. Which is what I thought. I thought they were just innovating it. I thought they were just doing things a bit differently. If I thought they were just being a bit goofy. So I decided that it'd be a good idea to ask them for salt the next time I order fries. And so, whenever I ordered fries again, I specified that I wanted salt on the fries. Now, the problem is, they're still a bit goofy. They're still a little bit quirky at McDonald's. And so, whenever I got my fries from there, they were still unsalted. I mean, I'm, I'm not even mad. I'm just kind of blown away at the goofiness of it. it. It's a pretty goofy situation, but, I mean, I'm not even sure if I can really call it a situation, because I'm not that pissed about it. I mean, sure, I can't have McDonald's fries. I can just get Wendy's, since Wendy's is honestly better. <laughs> Anyways, that's not the main focus of what I want to talk about. Now, my main little goofy situation with McDonald's it relates to an order that I made yesterday for two Junior Chicken Sandies. Now, once again, Junior Chicken Sandwiches are just amazing. I just get them with the chicken, the mayonnaise, the bread, and they're perfect. Now, I ordered two of them yesterday, and I received them. Now, if you've ever ordered Junior Chickens before, you know they come in, like, a green paper wrapping. Like, the, the whole sandwich is just wrapped up nicely, so it can't really fall apart, it can't spill, nothing can happen to it. But, interestingly enough, this time around, they came in the uh, McChicken boxes. Like, you know the little cardboard folding boxes that you get with your McChickens in sometimes? That's what they came in. 
which I thought was pretty interesting to say the least. I was, I didn't really think much of it. I just thought maybe they were doing something a little different, which yes, they were doing something a little different. I discovered the little thing that they were doing differently when I opened the boxes to my junior chicken sandwiches. Surprisingly enough, I'm not even sure if I can call it I got a fucking sandwich. In reality, what they had sent me was two junior chicken patties with a glob of semen on top of both of them. A glob of splooge. A, in re, it's, it's mayonnaise. Which, yes, I think mayonnaise is amazing on those. But the problem is, I got no fucking bread! That's not a sandwich! I need a sandwich! I'm not even mad, to be honest with you. I'm just a little bit blown away by how goofy it is. It's just... A son of a bitch. But anyways, yeah, I just, I didn't expect to get such a goofy little order. A goofy little New Year's treat from McDonald's. Of course, I'm still going to order from them. It's just, a, it's probably just like a one-time little mishap, but I thought it was just a little goofy and I wanted to share it with you guys. But yeah, I don't really do this type of content. I'm just usually doing a bit of FNF gaming. But yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to talk about something like this for once. I thought it would be a nice little different approach to uploading. Anyways, aside from all that mumbo jumbo, today I'm going to be streaming at 11 p.m. all the way till 12 a.m., which is the new year. Yes, I'm going to be streaming until the new year, because everyone's going to do that, and I'm not original. So if you want to stop by at 11 p.m. Eastern, just sit by, watch the stream, hang out with me until New Year's, instead of your family, please hang out with your family, uh, then yeah, you can just stop by, you know, You'll be cool if you do. Anyways, uh, th yeah, that's about it. See ya.